Hey, you all, Carpet Bagger here, coming to you live from the South. More specifically, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And even more specifically than that, I'm in front of Ripley's, believe it or not. Now, I have visited every Ripley's, believe it or not, in the United States of America. But I am back here at Myrtle Beach, and it has been several years since I have visited the Myrtle Beach, believe it or not. So I feel like it is time to revisit this Ripley's and to take a closer look than we did last time. So please, follow me. Now this is a traveling exhibit, the Believe It or Not legendary fertility statues. These were actually in um, Gatlinburg just a couple months ago, but they have made their way over here to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now they say that touching these statues will cause you to have children. And I already have children. I already have enough children, so I will avoid laying hands on these magical statues. This ball here normally rolls with water pouring out underneath. It looks like they've turned off the rolling portion of it, maybe just because of uh, current public health concerns. This giant gorilla here, made out of old shredded tires. Because we are at the beach, we have this Beyond the Beach exhibit, including shark jaws and a megalodon tooth. Here is the lizard man, Eric Sprague, and this chart kind of gives a rundown of what he has done to alter his body, put Teflon implants in his forehead, filed down his teeth into sharp points, bifurcated his tongue like a snake, and they said he's looking into getting a tail grafted onto his spine. I say go for it. We have a replica of Maria Jose Cristanerna. She is known as the Mexican Vampire Woman. We take a look at some of the things she's done. Titanium implanted horns, stretched earlobe tunnels, permanent fangs, titanium implants underneath her skin. Wow. I feel like it's been a while since we've paid a Zoltar, so. The great gypsy at your service. Listen carefully. It is better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Return to Zoltar and I will give you more words of wisdom. Here's some staple artwork. This is a C3PO made completely out of staples. And then old Greedo. Do like the carpeting on the stairs here as we head into this Egyptian looking staircase. And of course it is a mandate. Every Ripley's must have a shrunken head. See the shrunken head up there being held by the Javaro warrior. There's a crocodile jawbone dagger. You can see that hate god back there. This is the legendary Kamala, the Indian wolf girl. It says that she was raised by wolves, was rescued, she refused to walk upright, growled and ate raw meat, and died of loneliness for her canine family. It's a sad story. Tibetan skull mask there. That's that's pretty creepy, I say. Oh, it looks like Skeletor. It's one of the more abstract exhibits here at uh, the Myrtle Beach Ripley's The Legacy of King Tutankhamun's Tomb. You can see the hieroglyphics here, including this terrifying baboon hieroglyph. This exhibit talks about the curse of Tutankhamun's tomb and how different people associated with it died. 
it's portrayed with this creepy little mummy doll here. You can see he's got a little hammer there in his hand, and he's bursting out of his crate. Just a little mummy monster in a jar right there. Yeah, all these little jars with that creepy mummy in it. And you look up there and you can see a mummy's backside sticking out of the wall. And it looks like this mummy here is pointing a gun at its own head. And there he is. All eight foot eleven of him, Robert Wadlow, dressed today in his casual gear. A lot of the interactive exhibits, you know, the more child-friendly interactive exhibits are currently um, out of order due to safety concerns. There's one of the long neck women from the Padoang tribe. And here are some of the metal loops that they use to uh, elongate the neck. And here's a little bit of trivia. Um, see, they wrap the, the, the coil around their neck. It appears to make their neck longer. Technically, it doesn't stretch their neck. It actually pushes their shoulders down. Some of the famed Ripley's personalities, such as Wang, the unicorn man, had a sizable horn growing out of the back of his head. Here's the lighthouse man. He is a Chinese tour guide, and he would light his way by inserting a candle into a hole in his skull. How did he get the hole in his skull? I have no idea. Here is Lu Chung, who's born with an extra pupil in each eye. I love these junk art men. This is created by an artist named Leo Sewell of Philadelphia. It's pretty cool to kind of take a closer look and see some of the different toys, different items used to make him. That is uh, the Toxic Avenger uh, action figure right there, I recognize. Here is a sword used by a sword swallower. And this particular sword was actually swallowed underwater at the Ripley's Aquarium. You can see the sword swallower there. Apparently he was the first person to swallow a sword underwater. It's a collection of chewed gum sculptures. You can see all the little tiny people and animals. That looks like Gumby right there. It says every single of these sculptures was made only using their mouth. No hands, that's cheating. They made these sculptures with their teeth and tongue. It's an elephant foot humidor. Of course, uh, what better to do with an elephant's foot than to uh, cram it full of cigars. Here's apparently the world's longest lock of hair, six foot four inches. This lady right here apparently uh, had her first haircut when she was nine in 1966, and this is the hair cut that she had 20 years after that. There is a razor blade that was used for 30 years. This man used the same razor blade every day for 30 years. Bet it was getting a little dicey there near the end. I find this really fascinating. This is a letter mailed by an attorney, David Y. Young, to a judge in Sweetwater, Tennessee. It was a local letter, only supposed to go about 15 miles, but for some reason it took 34 years before it showed up. Showed up where it was supposed to. No one knows exactly what the holdup was. It must have been stuck in circulation somewhere or got, you know, hidden or put on the bottom of a pile, but somehow, after 34 years, eventually reached its destination. It's a voodoo fetish basket full of wonderful things such as human skulls and uh, other various skulls. One-eyed cyclops goat skull, and this is a uh, hydro cephalic cow skull. There's a rattlesnake fang and they put a needle there showing you that essentially they are the same thing. A rattlesnake fang essentially injects poison much like a syringe. Here's a two-headed six-legged cow. This one apparently lived for several months 
and an adorable two-headed lamb. This is John Arnold. He is a six-legged pig, as you can see there. Said that he only lived to be six months old, but he was a beloved pet for my elderly couple during that time. Here we have the world's longest chewing gum wrapper chain. Looks like they like that one particular brand of chewing gum and put it in this big spool. And some of it hanging right there. That's horrifying. That is a uh, dog head made out of human skin. It said it was skin flayed from slaves. That's awful. Also awful. Uh, fetal mice wine. It's a piece of glass right there. It's actually found while someone was butchering a chicken. Found that huge chunk of glass embedded in the chicken's heart. It's a genuine vampire killing kit. Always good to have when you're risking coming across people of the vampiric pers persuasion. There's a terrifying skull rack, a trophy skull rack that is a boar, a human, and a dolphin, believe it or not. And there's one of the legendary Fiji mermaids, one of the greatest pranks ever pulled. A big pen fired from a gun. Let's see where the pen was actually shot through a chunk of wood. You can see the tip of the pen completely pierced that piece of wood. This steel rod right here, I guess is actually part of a part of a gun, a spring from a gun that uh, misfired and shot back through soldier's eye. Okay, this is a trap right here, and then when I step on this, it's gonna it's gonna drop down. So. You can get that out of the way. All right, now that we've been through that, you can look at these horrible torture implements. That Inquisition torture mask, the skeleton cage, the mace, and the castrator. And one of the most infamous devices of torture, the Iron Maiden of Nuremberg. You can see, it's like, you know, kind of like a casket, I said you put living people in it, and uh, it's full of spikes, so it uh, puts the spikes through their body. This is a wax figure of FDR, I actually recognized this, this was uh, in the Gatlinburg uh, Aquarium, the Ripley's Aquarium for a while, when they had the Pearl Harbor exhibit. And one thing that's really interesting about this FDR figure is it actually shows the leg braces that he had uh, from polio. It's very rare to find a uh, facsimile that incorporates that. We actually have a little exhibit here on uh, current president Donald Trump. There is a portrait of Trump made entirely out of used chewing gum and uh, some other items here. This is a boxing glove autographed by Donald Trump. Said that he was seen as the savior of boxing uh, when he was working in Atlantic City helping to promote fights. And then this is Donald Trump's 50th birthday invitation. It's a very elaborate uh, fold out invitation. So this was actually sent to Lonnie Anderson, Burt Reynolds' uh, ex wife. And it says that uh, we'll have a performance by the Beach Boys. This is a 39 star flag, which is apparently very rare because there was never 39 states, but this flag was made with the understanding that Dakota would be one state, but ended up being split in two, uh, making this flag obsolete. Here we have a wonderful looking wooden roller coaster made out of matchsticks. You can see the uh, riders right there. There's a lock of hair from uh, Abraham Lincoln. Over here we have a lock of hair of George Washington. I say we combine their DNA, clone them into one, and then force them to run for president. There is a bugle actually used to play taps at uh, Abraham Lincoln's funeral. There's a jelly bean based portrait of Vincent van Gogh. Walking into this dinosaur 
area here. We have this T-Rex made out of metal. It's pretty terrifying. Genuine ancestor head, the sacred New Guinean head at the bottom of this pit is believed to contain the virtues of the deceased. Within the clay covering is the actual skull of an ancestor. It's, oh yeah. Let's see the head down there. Uh oh, looks like their vortex tunnel is out of order. So we're by default we have to take the coward's bypass. Definitely want to get this for my cats. This is genuine cat armor. So this car is called the Peel P50 Trident, saying it's the smallest car that was ever made on an assembly line. I don't think they they don't think they caught on. It's a Scottish dueling pistol right there. And here is a long barreled target practice pistol saying that the long barrel helps uh, the bullet go more straight. Listen, so there's less uh, curvature or drop off. Why don't they make all uh, gun barrels just abnormally long? Giant metal versions of these superheroes. We have a Thor. So we have a metal Thor and a metal iron man. For some mid-museum snacking, they have this insect vending machine. They have uh, some some larva there, some Mexican spice larva, as well as uh, ant candy. You know, normally uh, you when you have candy covered in ants, you think it's a bad thing. Oh my! This case here is just packed with mummies and mummy heads. There's a mummy's hand. A mummy's foot, a mummified cat. And this here is a bottle of beer. It says it was bottled in 1996, but it was taken uh, from a 5,000 year old batch of beer found in an Egyptian tomb. Would you drink 5,000 year old beer? Ripley's Critter Creations. Says these were created by an artist named Justin Ledoux. You can see there's a cat, a parrot, a goat, and look at that monkey right there, orangutan. Look at the word and say the color, not the word. Okay, we're going to try to do this. Green, red, purple, orange, blue, black, red. So thank you for joining me here at Ripley's, believe it or not, in Myrtle Beach. South Carolina I did notice some differences some changing of the exhibits so good to check into Ripley's every couple years good to check back in and see each individual Ripley's uh, if you'd like to see any other Ripley's in the United States please check the interactive map in the description also visit all sorts of different roadside attractions amusement parks museums and other fun stuff uh, if you'd like to help support the channel consider buying an enamel pin consider donating to patreon a three dollar or more uh donation will get you a postcard once a month but until next time this one's in the bag <laughs>